Hi friends in this video we will understand in detail how throughput plays a vital role in deciding the decoding capacity of satatya devices satatya devices are classified into three categories based on the total number of cameras that can be connected with them first 8 channel second 24 channel and third 64 channel throughputs of these devices are approximately 50 mbps for 8 channel 144 mbps for 24 channel 256 mbps for satatya nvr 64s and 384 mbps for satatya nvr 64p We will take the example of Satatya NVR 24P. Also we will presume two conditions. First, no one is viewing the cameras on TV monitor connected with the device. Second, recording of no camera is on. Throughput of any Satatya device can be divided into three further categories. First, downstream. Second, stream limit. and third upstream let us understand about downstream downstream is the stream transferred from the ip camera to satatya device throughput of satatya nvr 24p is approximately 144 mbps downstream can be easily calculated by multiplying the number of maximum cameras that can be connected with the nvr with the bit rate of each camera in our case the number of maximum cameras of satatya nvr 24p is 24 the user can watch the cameras in mainstream or substream bit rate of each camera recommended by matrix is 2 mbps for mainstream and 1 mbps for substream Considering the user watches all cameras in mainstream downstream is 24 into 2 that is 48 mbps bit rate of each camera can be kept high however this will result in low performance of the device so it is recommended not to exceed this limit this completes the understanding about downstream Let us understand about stream limit. Stream limit is the limit of satatya device to take in or give out the stream of cameras. In stream limit is the maximum number of streams of cameras that the device can take. It is equal to the total number of cameras that the device supports. In our example of satatya nvr 24p, in stream limit is 24. Outstream limit is the maximum number of streams of cameras that a device can give. It is equal to 3 times the total number of cameras that the device supports. In our example of Satatya NVR 24P, outstream limit is 24 into 3 that is 72. The stream limit can be seen in device status option followed by system and more. Note that this is the combination of live and network streams. Live streams are the ones projected on the monitor connected with the device. Network streams are the ones projected on user's PCs through Satatya device client. This completes the understanding about stream limit. Let us understand about upstream. Upstream is the amount of bandwidth allocated to a user who is logged in to Satatya device client. Upstream is calculated by subtracting downstream from throughput. Consider a scenario in which a user 1 is watching all 24 cameras connected with Satatya NVR 24P at the same time in the PC. 
Also assume the bitrate of each camera connected is 2 Mbps. In this scenario, the bandwidth allocated to the user by Satata device will be 24 into 2, that is 48 Mbps. It is considered that optimized bandwidth flag is not enabled at this time, resulting in deliverance of only mainstream of all cameras, irrespective of the layout set. Now downstream in this case is 48 Mbps and upstream is also 48 Mbps. Also outstream limit is 24. If user 2 logs in and watches all 24 cameras simultaneously in the PC, the device will allocate another 48 Mbps to that user. So downstream in this case is again 48 Mbps but upstream is 96 Mbps. For the second user, downstream will remain unchanged because now the device is transferring the stream to this user. Also, outstream limit is 48. Thus, one more user can log in and watch just one camera in mainstream. If this user tries to watch one more camera, the device may drop frames or live view of cameras can get stuck for a while. This is solely because the upstream of the device is reaching its limit. However, as the outstream limit is not yet reached, the device is still capable of giving streams to the users. To overcome the limitation of upstream, optimized bandwidth feature is used. Optimized bandwidth flag will enable automatic switching between main and substream of IP cameras. All IP cameras have two video streams, namely mainstream and substream. Bitrate is generally kept high for mainstream and low for substream. In the previous scenario, the assumed bitrate, that is 2 Mbps, was for mainstream. Let us assume the bitrate for substream as 1 Mbps, that is half the value of mainstream. Also assume that optimized bandwidth flag is checked. When user 1 watches all 24 cameras at the same time in the PC, the bandwidth allocated to the user by Satata device will be 24 Mbps. So downstream in this case is 24 Mbps and upstream is 24 Mbps. Also outstream limit is 24. If user 2 logs in and watches all 24 cameras simultaneously in the PC, the device will allocate another 24 Mbps to that user. So downstream in this case is again 24 Mbps but upstream is 48 Mbps. Also outstream limit is 48. If user 3 logs in and watches all 24 cameras simultaneously in the PC, the device will allocate another 24 Mbps to that user. So downstream in this case is again 24 Mbps but upstream is 72 Mbps. Also outstream limit is 72. Now as the outstream limit is reached, the device will not be able to stream any more cameras. If the user starts the stream anyway, maximum stream limit reached error will be displayed. To overcome this, the current users will have to stop watching certain number of cameras. This completes all the parameters. Thank you for watching this video. For further queries, please contact Matrix Technical Support Team.